Hello, this is Chris Love of the Information Lab. I'm just going to uh, talk you through a quick tip which allows you to filter using table calculations to effectively hide parts of a visualization that you might be unable to remove through ordinary filtering. So let's show you the problem first of all. Um, I'm going to bring in my subcategories and I'm going to put sum of sales across here. So I'm using the standard uh, sample superstore data set and I'm going to bring uh, my region onto colour. Now I'm going to produce a percentage calculation using the quick table calculations to do a percent of total. I'm going to come down 2% of total in the quick table calculations and just select that then I'm going to come back up and compute that over my region. That will give me 100% of, of the total sales and show how each region contributes to that 100% so across each subcategory. So now, if I want to give my user the choice of which region they see in this view, just to see the percentage contribution of each region, what I'd fairly reasonably expect to be able to do is pick up my region, drag it to filters and then filter out any of the given regions. But as you can see that has a problem. That's given me a percent of total which now is 100% for every single subcategory. Let me just step back and show you what it should be. What I was expecting is this 40% for tables etc. All the red lines showing that, that properly. So what's going on here as I, as I do that? Well, when I drag my region and, and place it onto my filters, what I'm doing is filtering out my data set and filtering the rows to only that region level. Effectively meaning that when I c c calculate the percent of total, I'm losing the entire um, rest of the data set that's, uh, that's got anything else in there. So what I need to do is hide my values rather than filtering the, the data set. So let's step back and show you how we do that. Well there's, there's one really easy method which I'm sure you've uh, come across if you've experimented with Tableau and that's to come right click into my regions and use the hide option. I'm going to hide each of these in turn and this is the view we're looking for okay now that's a perfectly reasonable way of producing this view but it's one that I don't particularly like as uh, we've lost the context of what's happening there's nothing on our filter shelf to show what's being filtered and there's no way that we can easily select any of the other regions in this view so let's step back and show you an alternative The alternative that I like to use is to create a table calculation to filter the view. Now a table calculation is a really effective way of doing this because table calculations act after the view has been produced, after the data has been, been brought into Tableau, which means we're not going to be filtering the rows, which means we're going to have all the data available and our percentage totals will still work as we expect. So let's create a new calculation. New calculated field. And because we're going to be working with a table calculation, I'm going to start off by wrapping my region with an attribute. Attribute just converts this into an aggregation so we can use it in our table calculation. And I'm going to use the lookup cal table calculation referencing the current row, referencing zero. Now what that lookup is doing is just taking the current row and returning it. The attribute is doing nothing else so effectively we're just returning exactly the same region when we do this calculation. But, but we're doing it through a table calculation and that's what the two parts of this calculation are doing that's really key to this technique. 
we're not changing the original value of the region, which is absolutely key, and we're using a table calculation. And as I've said, using a table calculation means it will act after when we filter on it, which will then hide rather than filter out the rows that we, we need. So let's call this region table calculation. And we'll find that. Now, you'll notice it's not appeared in the dimensions, even though it's a discrete string value. That's because, as a table calculation, it's going to drop down into the measures. So we find it in the measures, drop it onto our filters, let's select west again, and you can see it's working as we expected. We can now do a quick filter on there, let's make this a drop down. So now we can very quickly change between each of those areas change exactly what we want to see. Great technique. That table calculation is something we can use, that time and use time and time again. We've got lookup, attribute, the field we need, comma zero, close brackets. All we need to do is replace that region with whatever we're using. Let's look at another quick example just to show you how this might work. On another sheet, I'm going to bring out my order date, and I'm going to use the year of order date, and then I'm going to bring in my sales again. This time I'm going to use a quick table calculation to calculate my year over year growth. And I'll tell you what, let's, rather than a graph, let's put that on label so we can see exactly what's happening. Okay, so we've got some values that we'd now like to filter. For starters, we don't want that 2011 value there. We might only want to show the year-on-year -year growth for 2014. Let's drag on subcategory so we've got a little bit more detail there. So we might, yeah, we might want to get rid of that 2011. It's blank because we've got no values to calculate the year-over-year -year growth for further back. Um... How do we do that? Well, again, let's drag on order date, filter on years, and just show you what happens if we try and do this as we might expect. Take out 2011. Well, again, we've filtered in our data. We've lost 2011, and now 2012 can't be calculated. Let's step back and just have a think. How, we, how do we solve this? Well, exactly the same way as we did before exactly the same calculation move to create calculated field so we're working on the year of order date and remember we need to use an aggregate so we're going to use the attribute and now wrap that in a table calculation lookup so that it will act after the view is created and let's call this year order date find it, drop it on the view, now we can drop out that 2011 exactly as we wanted. If we wanted we could tidy that up, remove the formatting to remove the thousand separator, give ourselves a drop down in exactly the same way. So a really useful calculation, one that we can use time and time again when we're doing things that need all the data, particularly when we're using table calculations like percent of total or year over year growth or anything that needs other values within, within the data set, so those quick table calculations, we can use this technique to further filter the data after that quick table calculation has done its job. Um, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for listening. Next time I'll be going through a, a quick way of being able to sort on table calculations and further increase views like this so that we can sort these values in a, in a really quick, easy way. But thanks for listening this time and uh, thanks for following.